from a quick step point of view, it will almost be good if if they closed Nicky Terpstra down. Well, it's Greg Van Avermaet from the middle of the group, does not want to bring this one down to a sprint, not amongst this group, and he wants to make sure they get up to Nicky Terpstra. And all of these riders have neutralized each other to the advantage of the man that went for glory from, what, 60, 70 kilometers out, and he's going to convert this one. It's a perfect result for the Quick Step squad, their fifth successive victory in Belgium one day racing and Nicky Terpstra it will bookend those two victories his win in Le Salmon earlier this year indicating the form that he has heading into the winter BMC will look to try and uh, salvage something as a uh, quick step cover it but uh, well that's all for nothing because Nicky Terpstra has taken victory in E3 Harold Becker it's another great victory for the quick step squad look what that means for him and it's a move on the right hand side. Set for Marke for education first, Rapak. It's going to be followed, and Quick Step need to close it down. For Marke, the Belgian, it's Yves Lompat trying to close him into the final few hundred metres now. Five hours, 53 minutes of racing across the wind, up and down the bags again. Wevel game. It's going to be a sprint of some sort. Look out for the French champion on the left hand side, but he's boxed in at the moment. Viviani in the middle as well. It's Trentin through the middle in the yellow with 200 metres to go. He's gone for it. Sagan on the right hand side, the former winner. Look on the left, though, you can see the French champion. It's Sagan at the front of the minute. Sagan's a man, they're all following. Sagan is there, but here comes Viviani. It's Peter Sagan for a third time. And he becomes the most successful rider in the history of Ghent Wevelkim. But we are now just 800 metres from the finish of uh, Duarte of Landeren. Oh, the winner from last year, Yves Lompard, to go away. And nobody's following him. Nobody is following Yves Lompard. And that moment of hesitation taken advantage of by Yves Lompard. He's got away again. And I think he's going to win it for two times in two years. He's got to hold on here. Yves Lompard to race for his life again as he looks round. Starts to smile, starts to realise what he's done. Behind Evel Bossenhagen, he's going to lead them in. But Lompard is 200 metres now away from a second successive win at Dwarsdor Vlaanderen. It's quick step domination once more. It's two and two for the man from the farm. Yves Lompard wins Dwarsdorf Landeren. Look at Nicky Terpstra is making his move. Nicky Terpstra is making his move. And nobody's able to follow him just yet. Nibali's so Nibali. Going. It carries on. They've done their recon. They know what happens. Nibali into the right position. And who's going to chase him? Whatever the oh. outcome, a happy. Oh, Nibali can't hold it. Terpstra, an absolute machine. He's not going to sit and wait. Nicky Terpstra is going to zoom straight past them on the Art of Guadamont. He budges them out the way. Nicky Terpstra, who won Edri Pres, is about to light this race up. And the fans know that now. It's been a quick step game of pure dominance again. Arms aloft. And for the first time in 32 years, a Dutchman wins the Ronde van Vlaanderen.